Okay guys, so it is spider time here in the art room. What we're going to do is we're going to be putting together our own headband and we're gonna create a spider headband. So what I'm looking for are my googly eyes because this is a really good place to add googly eyes to your piece. So there my are, I found them. Hopefully you can find some. I got mine at the dollar store. So I bought a little collection of googly eyes. I put them in my lovely container here. Uh, I'll probably find two. And if you don't have big ones, you can always add all different sizes. Little ones, medium sized ones. You can add a lot of different eyes. I'm just gonna add two for now. So to make a headband, what you want is a long strip. So you can see here, what I did was I took my black paper and I cut it into half first, and then I cut it into half again. And what I did was I made a long strip. My head's bigger than yours, so I made my strip really long. I attached it here. You may only need one if your head is smaller, but I needed a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna let my googly eyes dry here. I'll attach them while I get my legs ready. And the legs are the same way that we made the strips for our paper sculpture. My glue doesn't wanna work. I had to make sure it was open. There we go. Now I know it's working. A little dot. I'm gonna add a little bit more because since I'm gonna be shaping this around my head, there's one. Put some here. I always like to put it here so I know I cover the whole surface. Remember, we always touch. We're never pouring because then it'll squeeze out the side and be messy, maybe get in our hair. And there's my other eye. Okay, so I'll leave my googly eye to dry for a minute. So with the other half of the paper, you can see I started to cut strips and you can decide how long you want your strips to be. I want my spider to have lots of legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding that little fold we did last week, that forward backward fold. You can make as many strips as you want. You can cut your strips in half. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet, whether I'm gonna cut them in half for now. So I'm gonna just start with them together. I'm gonna do, and you know what you could do? Wanna save yourself a little time? You could do two, line them up, three, line them up, and this way, if you don't like to do all that folding, you can do them together for now and then take them apart. Forward, backward, forward, backward, all the way down to the bottom, to the bottom. Here we go. Folding it, folding it, folding it. Let's see if it worked my lazy way. Ah, yep. I got three done at once. That saved me a little time. And what we're gonna do is, since this guy is trying, I'll finish folding my rest of my legs. And I'm gonna do the same thing, save myself a little time. Put them together, forward, backward. Forward, backward, forward, backward, all the way down. They wanna come apart, that's okay, because they're not meant to be together, they're legs. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, same thing, and then they come all apart. Wow, that was a real time saver. So now I have this here. In order to put the legs on, I'm gonna attach them to the back. This way nobody can see them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put little, little dots. Oh, come on now. One, and then I can decide if it's too long or not. Two, three, four, five, six, I added six. I think my legs might be too long. I can always decide after if I wanna cut them. I'm gonna attach them for now. You may decide you want yours a little shorter and have more legs. I'm gonna attach them. There we go. One more here and one more here. Let's see how it looks. First of all, I gotta count to 10 so these stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if it stays. Okay. Gotta 
roll it a little bit. And let's see. Oh, where'd my eyes go? Oh, there you go. Not too shabby. I can shape it. Now, if you look, mine kind of looks like hair right now. I want to make sure I let them hang over the side. So I'm going to just gently, because they're still drying, gently pull them outward. You go over here. You go over here. You go over here. And you go over here. Oh, there you go. You go back here. So you see the legs I made? Now, mine is a little bit long, so I'm going to just fold it a little bit more, make it a little bit tighter. There we go. And you can see, oops, where'd it go? Come out here, you. How I'm going to make my headband like that. Look at those creepy legs. Keep an eye out for me in the art room. See you later, guys. And you can attach it either by gluing it. I would suggest maybe some staple if you have it, and if not, even a paper clip. But don't put it together till you measure it on your head, otherwise it might be too small or too big. Okay? Have fun making your spider headband.